A lifelong Republican, Olivia Troy, is speaking out tonight about what she calls the president's embarrassing and at times frightening handling of the coronavirus. It was the hardest decision I've ever had to make. And I just felt that at the end of the day, I need to finally be able to sleep at night and knowing that I did the right thing for the American people. Troy says White House task force scientists were repeatedly undermined by the president, saying the virus would disappear. You have to be calm. It'll go away. He's not wearing a mask. I absolutely believe that all he had to do was wear a mask. This isn't a political thing. It's, it's human life and health. Holding rallies like Tulsa. I've had conversations with staff who were going on that trip who were, who were scared. They were scared for their, their own well-being. Scared to go to Tulsa for the indoor rally. Absolutely. What about when the president suggested ingesting cleansers? And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? It was embarrassing even to have our country's leader in front of the entire world stage suggesting that people go inject themselves with, I believe, bleach or cleaners. The worst part is that I have no doubt that his, some of his followers or people believe him. She recalls the president saying in the Situation Room, COVID wasn't such a bad thing. Did the president of the United States really say that? Absolutely. I was sitting to the right of him in the room when he said it. And he was like, and you know when you're a politician, you have to shake a lot of hands. And these people are disgusting. It's gross. And so maybe COVID, COVID's probably a good thing, right? The White House is firing back. Mike Pence, Friday. It reads to me like one more disgruntled employee uh, who's left the White House uh, and now has decided to play politics during an election year. And today, I saying fired. she was fired. The reason I fired her was her performance had started to drop after six months working on the task force as a backbencher. Tonight, Troy tells NBC she resigned in July and was even asked to reconsider and stay only deciding to speak out two weeks ago, increasingly dismayed over political interference with the scientists. And now she has endorsed Joe Biden. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.